Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. So now we are in session number two. Uh, we are going to have a new topic, but it is also related to the topic that we were developing yesterday. I know that I uh, told you that I am going to send the link, but something happened, so I didn't send the link this morning, but I'm going to do it um, at the end of the session. So. We are going to continue with that part because we were talking about the past, the simple past. And now we are going to see the last part of that topic because I cannot um, add that part to the, the document. And also we are going to see the new topic that is used to, but it's also a topic related to the past. But in this case is to talk about a past actions that we performed when we were children or <clears throat> maybe some activities or some things that we did in the past that we are not doing that anymore. I just have um, something to ask. Um, if you are not listening or you cannot um, hear clearly, you can tell me eh, if we have problems with the sound. Si no escuchan con claridad o tienen algún problema para escucharme cuando estoy dando las explicaciones o se escucha muy suave o algo por el estilo, eh, me pueden uh, avisar para arreglarlo porque he tenido un poco de problemas con el sonido. I don't know if you can hear me. Yes or no? Yes. Yes? Okay. Yes. Okay, thank you. So, yesterday we were talking about the simple past in which we were seeing the different examples about um, verbs, in this case, irregular verbs and irregular verbs that we can use to create sentences in a past. And in this case, also we were talking about um, positive sentences and negative sentences and also questions. So now we are going to end that part in which we are going to see some examples. And then we are going to begin with the topic use two, and we are going to have some exercises related to that topic. So, yesterday we were talking about the regular and irregular verbs, and now I'm going to uh, have two tables, two different tables in which we are going to see the infinity form of the verb, then we are going to see the past tense of that verb, and then we are going to see the negative form. So, in that case, we're not going to have the question, just the infinitive, the past tense, and the negative form of the verb. So let's see. In this case, I need to add two tables here. Okay, we have the first one that is infinitive. Then we have past tense. And then we have the negative. The first verb that we're going to see here is to ask. In this case, we are going to use to because we are using the infinitive part of the verb. So in that case, we are using then we have to work, to call, and to use. 
then in past, in this case, they are regular verbs. So in this case, we are just going to add T or ED at the end. For the first one that is as, we are going to say as, then work, then call, and the last one, you. And in the negative form, in this case, we are going to use the auxiliary did. Did not ask. Didn't work. We are going to use both. Did not call. And did not use or didn't use. And the second table that we are going to have is the irregular verbs. In this case, we are going to use more verbs than in the first table because you know that they are kind of different because they are like changing the way they are um, or the written part of that verb. So in this case, we are going to have more examples about the irregular verbs. So again, we have infinitive. Then we have past tense and negative. Here we have to be, to have, to do, to say, to get. to make, to go, to take, to see, and the last one is to come. So for the past tense, we are going to change. And in this case, it was and where. The next one is had, did, said, got, made, went, took, so, and it came. And for the negative part, we are going to use um, the auxiliary. So, in this case, we are not going to change the form of the verb. But the first one, we are not going to use the auxiliary deal with the verb to be. So, in this case, it was not or were not. Then, did not have. Then we have didn't do. Did not say. Didn't get. Did not make. Didn't go. Did not take, didn't see, and did not come. So, there uh, we have some examples of these birds, regular and irregular birds, in past. Now, finishing that part, we are not going to see the uh, topic used too. This topic is very interesting because in this case we can use that phrase or that expression to um, to talk about the past. And we know that it is sometimes very um, funny, very interesting, very funny or something like that to talk about the past because in some cases we remember 
some actions that we performed in the past, but now maybe we are not doing that actions, we are not practicing that sport, or we change the taste of music, of TV shows, or something like that. So in that case, the uh, topic used to is to remember to talk about things that we did in the past. Así que como ya estamos hablando del pasado, pero en este caso eran eh, oraciones simples en pasado, ahora vamos a recordar cosas que nosotros hicimos en el pasado que ya no hacemos más, porque esa es la base del use to. Cosas que yo hice en el pasado que ya no hago, porque yo cambié de parecer, de gustos, porque ahora trabajo, antes estudiaba, antes estaba más joven, ahora ya soy un adulto, all of that things. So, we are going to start with the topic used to. But we need to write 9, 6, 2022. And we have the topic that is used to. We are going to move this to here. Right here. Okay. In this case, we are going to use the expression used to plus the infinitive. Used to plus infinitive. And in this case, it's not like we are going to have used to to think. Used to to have. Because in that case, we are going to have used to have, we're not going to double the to of a verb. We use this expression to talk about habits or repair actions in the past, which we do not do in the present. We also use it to talk about states in the past, which are not longer true. So that is the base for this topic, that we use this expression to talk about habits or repeated actions in the past. But also, um, we are not doing that actions in the present or are no longer true. Para hábitos pasados, cosas que se repetían en el pasado, que ya no hacemos en el presente o que ya no son ciertas para nosotros. Ese es el punto principal de este tema. So, here we have the information. And we have for uh, we have some examples. And we have the first one. It says, "I used to have long hair, but now I have short hair." So in this case, we are talking about something physical because I had long hair when I was a child. Or maybe I had long hair, I, or I used to have long hair when I was a student. But now I cut my hair, and it is not longer through. 
Esas son acciones o son cosas que pasan, obviamente, en el pasado y que cambian por una u otra razón y por eso utilizamos el is to. Then, they used to live in India. So, in this case, something that you need to know or you have to notice is the structure. In this case, we are going to use um, the used to that for all the subjects that we have. And in this case, we are not going to apply any rules that we know about the third person or something like that, because in this case, we are going to use it for all the subjects that we have. Then, we have some questions, because we are also uh, have this kind of sentences. And in this case, uh, when we are creating questions, we are not going to have the used to at the beginning, like in the other uh, structures. In this case, we are going to use the auxiliary. No vamos a utilizar el used to al principio de la oración cuando hagamos una pregunta porque no es la estructura de esa forma. En este caso siempre tenemos que utilizar un auxiliar para poder hacer la pregunta. And we have some examples for this one. We have the use, in this case we are not going to use use in past, in this case it is in in uh, present, so because we're using the auxiliary. Did you used to be a teacher? Solías ser una maestra, we can say it in Spanish. Solías ser una maestra o tú solías ser una maestra. Did you used to study French? And in this case, this one is not a question, but it is a complete sentence using the auxiliary. She didn't use to like chocolate, but she does now. And in this one, I didn't used to want to have a nice house. So in that case, we have uh, two different things about the use to. First is to use that expression with the sentence, only that expression. Then we have the option in which we can use the auxiliary to uh, talk about past. In that case, it is not like. We are just going to use the, the expression use to to talk about that situation. We also can use the auxiliary. And In that case, it's, uh, it's changing the structure. And also, we can use it with questions, but in that case, we are going to use the auxiliary. Así que para la expresión use to, no necesariamente solo la vamos a utilizar a ella. En este caso, también podemos utilizar lo que son los auxiliares, así como lo hemos hecho con las preguntas y las oraciones más largas, para poder referirnos a situaciones en el pasado que ya no hacemos, como... En el ejemplo 3, she didn't use to like chocolate, but she does now. Ella, a ella solía no gustarle el chocolate, pero ahora le gusta. So in that case, it is not necessary just to use, use 
two. Let's see. We are going to have some exercises in which we are going to see some phrases. Let me show you. We are going to have some phrases and you are going to let me see, let me see. Here we are. We are going to create a affirmative sentences, negative sentences, or questions using yes to or infinitive. Yo les voy a poner como um, palabras que ustedes pueden utilizar para crear oraciones positivas con el yes to. Les voy a dejar como las um, clues of the sentences and you are going to create. If you want to create a positive sentence, you can create a positive sentence. If you want to create a negative sentence, you can create a negative sentence. Or if you want to create a question, you can do it like that. That is your, it's optional and you are going to see what is the best option for you. Así que voy a escribir como las palabras que vamos a utilizar para nuestras frases y ustedes deciden de qué forma lo hacen, positivo, negativo o en pregunta. So, let's begin with this activity. Let me change to this next page. So, we are going to have here the clues or the words that you can use for your sentences. I have 10 and you are going to take maybe four of them and you are going to create your sentence. Van a tomar cuatro de estas. Yo les voy a dar 10 opciones. Ustedes toman cuatro, las transforman y las vamos a compartir.
So here we have the ten um, sentence. We can say it like that. And we have some ideas about what we are going to do with these sentences. We have the first one, I live in San Miguel when I was a child. Number two, we go to the beach every summer. Three, she loves eating chocolate, but now she hates it. Number four, he not smoke. Number five, I play tennis when I was in school. Six, she be able to speak French, but she has forgotten it all. Seven, he play golf every weekend. Eight, they both have short hair. Nine, Julie study Portuguese. And number ten, I not hate school. Now, you can choose four of them. You can, uh, maybe you can complete, you can change, you can write the sentence the way you want. And I will give you some minutes to complete the first activity. Then we can share the uh, sentences. Maybe you can write it on the chat, or if you want to tell or to say your sentence, you can do it. Si quieren decir su oración, ustedes encienden su micrófono, dicen sus oraciones, o les pueden escribir en el chat para irlas revisando. So now we have submit to complete this first activity. Tell me, Victoria. Uh, I'm, I, I am going to tell you my example, right? Oh, okay, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I remember I used to, I used to wake up very late, but now I try to wake up very early because I think that is better for my, for my health. Than when I when I wake up very late in the past. Oh, that's good. That's good. Very very good. Thank you. That is a, a great a great example. Alicia, tell me. 
Okay. Uh, I didn't live in San Miguel when I was a child. Uh, did we go to the beach every summer? Um, she loved she loved it chocolate, but now she hates it. Hate it. And she was able to speak French, but she has forgotten it all. Okay, okay. In that case, it's okay because you're using the auxiliary, but remember that you are going to use used to also. For example, um, I didn't or we didn't used to go to the beach in summer. For example, so when you are using the auxiliary, we are going to use also the um, the use to. But thank you for your participation. I have a sentence in the chat and it says, I used to live in San Miguel when I was a child. That's perfect. Luis, tell me. Yes, I, I told the, the sentence. And she used to love it, uh, eating chocolate, but now she hates it. Oh, uh, good. He didn't use to, uh, he didn't use to smoke. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. He didn't use to smoke. Mm -hmm. Okay. I used to play tennis when I was at school. Um, did he used to play golf every weekend? Okay. Julie, uh, Julie used to study Portuguese. Good, amazing. They yes. are very good, thank you. Let's see, we have another one. I used to play tennis when I was at school. Amazing. Thank you, Nancy. Another one, and it says, she used to love eating chocolate, but now she hated. Good. Nelly, tell me. Yuli used to study Portuguese. I used to live in San Miguel when I was a child. He didn't use to smoke, and she used to be able to speak French, but she has forgotten it all. Good, amazing, thank you. Next one, Yuli used to study Portuguese, good. We have two more. I did not use to hate school. Good. And the next one, did he use? Mm, in this case, we're not going to use used with uh, the past because we have the auxiliary. Did he use to play golf every weekend? Good. Okay. 
we have here the first activity. Now we are going to have the second one. In the second one, you are going to see some questions, but let me change this one because I need to open the other document in which I have the questions that we are going to see uh, that we can use with this expression that is the use to. I have like 35 questions, but in this case we are not going to ask them all. In this case, we're going to use like um, a couple of them. Let me show you. Here we have the document in which I have these questions. And in this case, uh, we are like, we can use these questions when you are meeting someone for the first time. So, we are going to ask these questions and you are going to answer. What is the way in which we are going to answer these questions? So, for example, how did you use to have fun? In that case, you are going to say, oh, I used to have fun playing with my friends, reading a book, listen to music, um, eating chocolate, uh, whatever you did for entertainment when you were a child, for example. Aquí tenemos las preguntas. Yo voy a comenzar a hacer las preguntas a ustedes para que ustedes puedan contestarlas. En este caso, puede ser algo que ustedes sí hayan hecho en el pasado o puede ser una respuesta eh, ficticia. En este caso, para contestar, sí vamos a utilizar el I, porque como estamos hablando de primera persona, I is to. Yo solía y decimos la acción que nosotros solíamos hacer. En este caso, I is to y decimos el verbo en infinitivo sin cambiarlo, que no sea en pasado ni nada por el estilo. So, let's see. I'm going to ask the first question to... Let's see, Sonia, Sonia Araceli. No. Hello. I'm going to ask you a question. The first one. How do you use to have fun? The answer? You're going to say the answer. I used to very fun. Okay. So now, Sonia, um, you can choose another um, of your partners, so you can tell a name, and I'm going to ask another question. Okay. Victoria. Victoria. Thank you, Sonia. Tell me. Question number two. How do you use to communicate with friends before the internet? Can you repeat one more time, please? How did you use to communicate with friends before the internet? Okay, I used to connect it on my classes online with with datos, I don't know how do you say datos. Mm, yes, but in this case it's like a long, long time ago. Antes, ah, all right, all right. I understand. Antes del internet, ¿cómo hacíamos okay. para comunicarnos? Okay, I remember that my mother told me that when I wa when she was a child, he can he called the uh, went to the cell phone but cell phone uh, all cell phone with communication that that she has with other person okay good thank you victoria tell me another name all right uh, nelly elizabeth hello hello question number 
let's see, let's see, we're going to change. Uh, okay, 14, did you used to have pets when you were a kid? I didn't used to have pet when I was a kid. Okay, thank you. Nelly, can you tell me another name? Uh, sure. Um, I will choose to Oscar. Oscar Melendez. Oscar Melendez. Okay, thank you. Oscar. Yes. Hello, yeah, I have a question. Hello. Okay, how did children used to play video games before the internet exists? Question 17, how did children used to play video games before the internet exists? Okay, uh, sorry, <laughs> how did children... Um... um. In that case, you can say they used to and add some action. I used to um, play uh, video games in uh, um, No, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't worry. You can say, for example, they used to, ellos solían, play soccer, play canicas. Okay. Okay. Uh, they used to uh, play, um, um, piscucha, I don't know if it's the same in English. It's igual piscucha, no sé, um, um, bicycle, uh, um, play, uh, um, as uh, canica. Okay, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Oscar, can you okay. give me another name? Okay, uh, um, um, Maximo Arteaga. Maximo, thank you, Oscar. Good evening. Good evening. I have a question. Let me see. Mm -hmm. What do you use to eat for breakfast as a teenager? I used to eat for breakfast cornflakes. Oh, good. Amazing. Okay. Thank you for your participation. Let's see. I am going to add these questions to the document because in this case we have a lot of interesting questions that we can make to people. Where we are in 
trying to have a conversation. For example, the number one, how did you used to have fun? In that case, of when you were a child or when you were a teenager. Then, how do you use to communicate with friends before the internet? I know that um, in this time, many of us know the internet when we were children or something like that. But it is interesting to understand what was the way in which our parents or grandparents used to communicate with friends before the internet. Then how do you use to entertain yourself before there were video games? Maybe when we were child um, or we were children, we don't have these facilities and we don't have uh, video games. And also in that time, maybe we used to have like meeting with our friends at some a specific uh, place. We used to read some books. We used to play guitar or something like that. Then, what games did you used to play when you were a little kid? Then you are going to remember the, the games that you play in that time. So, in this case, there are a lot of interesting questions that we can make. Okay, so I'm going to share these uh, questions with you in the document because you can use it in the future when you are going to maybe use these kind of sentences or questions. So let's see what is the last part that we are going to develop right now because it's almost time. We have a couple of minutes to end the session. So I'm going to share the other questions. We have, let me see, eight questions. I'm going to write eight questions. I need you to read them to analyze the things that the question is asking because we are going to practice in groups. So we are going to have some breakout rooms in which you can practice asking the question and answering the question. So we are going to have eight, eight questions. I'm going to write it, then we are going to understand what is the question about, and then we are going to create um, the, um, the answers for those questions. So, let's see. We have here question number one, and it says, what is a food that you used to hate but now you like? What is a food that you used to hate but now you like? We are talking about something that we eat in the past that we didn't like at all, but now we enjoy eating it. So the question is this one. So this is the question. What is a food that you used to hate but now you like? ¿Cuál es una comida que odiabas o que solías odiar pero que ahora te gusta? For this one, we can answer. I used to hate, and we're going to write or say the name of the food. Maybe it's a vegetable, it's a fruit, it's a plate is a soap or something like that and then we are going to say but now I like it. Solía odiar carrots 
las zanahorias, but now I like it, or I like them, because we are uh, talking about plural. But in that case, we have like the, the answer like that. Number two. Who used to be your hero? Who used to be your hero when you were young? ¿Quién solía ser tu héroe cuando eras joven? In this case, we are going to talk about um, a fictional character, a um, real person, a, an actor, an actress, something like that. Un héroe que nosotros consideramos héroe, ya sea de la ficción, de la vida real, un artista o algo por el estilo. Whatever you think it is. Who used to be your hero when you were young? My hero used to be the answer. My hero used to be and we are going to say who? In this case, maybe. For example, my hero used to be Superman or my hero used to be Batman or my superhero used to be Frodo, mm, or whatever you want to say in that um, answer. Number three. Did you use to have a pet? Did you use to have a pet? Solías tener una mascota? Yes, I did use to have a, and we can say the animal, or no, I didn't use to have a pet. Number four, in this case, yes, okay. Did you used to get good grades in high school? Tenías buenas notas? Yes, I used to have good grades, or no, I did not use to have good grades. Number five, what used to be your favorite game to play? In this one, In this question, you are going to say what is your uh, favorite game. In that case, we're not going to use the used to. So in that case, um, you are going to say what is your favorite game. It is like free to answer. Number six, what did you use to play when you were a uh, child?
¿Dónde solías jugar cuando eras un niño? Uh, you used to play. And we are going to say the place. Vamos a decir dónde. Number seven. How often did you use to get in trouble when you were younger? ¿Qué tan seguido solían meterse en problemas cuando eran jóvenes? And in that case, it's another free question. Uh, a lot. I don't like troubles or whatever you want to answer in that question. And the last one, number eight. What were some of the benefits of living in the past? In this case, we're not going to use uh, the question with used to, but you can answer with used to. Okay, we have eight questions. Tenemos ocho preguntas con algunos ejemplos de cómo podemos responder. Um, los voy a poner ahí ya les voy a mandar el enlace para que ustedes lo sigan viendo and we are going to do the exercise tomorrow because we, are, we don't have more time right now but I will send to you the link right now and you can see the uh, question remember that you have to work in the platform don't forget to do it so We are going to um, finish the uh, session here, and we are going to see each other tomorrow, and that's because I have another group uh, at 9, so I don't have a lot of time. So we are going to see each other tomorrow, and we are going to have the exercise tomorrow in the session number 3. Bye. Bye-bye. And See you tomorrow. tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Um, Victoria, you want to say something? Sure. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yes, I have a Tell question me. to share. Tell me. Uh, the the platform, I we can't we can't answer the two topics or how can I answer my my platform because I don't I didn't understand that. Okay, in that case, uh, you can work in uh, all of the exercises that you want. If you want to complete section one and section two this week, you can do it. But if you want to answer section one, two, and three in just one week, you can do it also. Because the thing is that for this first week, you need to answer uh, section one and two. And for the week number two, you need to answer section three. But if you want to complete three sections this week, it's okay. All right. Thank you, Miss. Have You're a nice welcome. night. You too. Nelly? Miss, I have a question. Uh, it's about the platform. Mm -hmm. I... I don't know uh, what is the course that I need to choose because uh, in the platforms appear a lot of courses and I don't know how is uh, about the class, the course about the class. Mm, did you have the email that they sent to you or something like that? Yes, but appear a lot of courses of English and other uh, subjects too. Okay, it is the, let me see, you are in, it has to be English Intermedio 1, 
it is the, the, the course that you need to take, inglés intermedio uno, porque se supone okay. que ese es el que están tomando ustedes ahorita. Ok. Um, if, if you have troubles with that, you can uh, uh, write a message to the group and we're going to help you with a bad situation. Okay, I will do that. Okay, good night. Good night, thank you. You're welcome.